uh, we've been talking about how we can spread a little bit of love, not necessarily Valentine's love, but love with regards to lockdown. Who's lifted your spirits? It might be a partner who has gone out of their way to really brighten mm. your day every day. It might be your kids, it might be someone else. Uh, so we asked you to get in touch with us some messages of appreciation. Um, yeah, we've had lots, haven't we? we? Have. Um, can I just quickly do mine, first of all? Uh, There's yes, a reason why. Sorry. <clears throat> It's not about you for a moment, it's about her. Let's all remember that. Back to you. I was going to make it about someone else. <laughs> no, go. Uh, Mick, my milkman, who has just been amazing. He's absolutely just kept me going because he'll leave little notes saying, do you need anything extra other than the milk? You know, like, <laughs> sort of... <laughs> oh, I don't <laughs> 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 Like bread, oh, yeah. butter, yeah. or orange juice. Yeah. And he also yeah. supplies. Yeah. The extra. Uh, he needs a little smiley face. <laughs> I bet he does. <laughs> <laughs> and you still answer at the door in your dressing gown and those fluffy slippers. And a shower cap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Mick. I tell you what, Mick, you're, thank you. Thank you very much <laughs> indeed. Should we move on to other people's messages? I've got um, myself in trouble. Unbelievable. Even I didn't see that one I coming. do think the milk... We've got a brilliant milkman. It's like having the fourth emergency service, isn't it? Well, it's when just... You open the fridge, yeah. there's yep. no milk, and then you remember and you go outside by the front door. It's just in my head, I think, whatever's... However long night I've had, whatever's gone on, I'll be able to have a cup Mick of tea. Mick will sort you out. Mick will sort <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Tim Dean. <laughs> Tim Dean says he wants to say, uh, wonderful postman. Tim, postman there again. Lots Fantastic. of people say postman, yeah. Uh, gone out of his way to bring cheer to everybody in the street. Helpful and plenty of laughter and banter. Then I, then, uh, then I say, than all other delivery guys. Well, it's that little bit extra. Yeah, Carol saying here, our postman who always asks how we are, stops for a little chat. He's so lovely, makes my day. Karen, uh, Charon says, on uh, Twitter. Matthew, our postie... Or maybe, maybe is... Sharon. It could be Sharon. Mm. Um, uh, our postie in his shorts, a cheery smile and a great chat. He's a lovely young lad as well. Lots of postmen getting their shouts out today. Yeah, Sarah Barry says, I want to thank my son and hubby, but would like a mention to rubbish collectors as they come once a week and always give my son, who has autism, a huge grin, a wave and a mm. thumbs up, and it's the highlight of his week. They go out of their way. It, it's those things that maybe seem little that are massive when gesture. we're in the situation yeah. we're in. Sue Ellen Lamb, head, school, head of a school at Race Lees Junior, Bedworth says, the support and welcome we get from parents and children at the school is truly wonderful. During such a difficult time, our community has pulled together and given the boost us teachers need. So thank you from the bottom of her heart. And David Wall wants to give a shout out to his granddaughter. He says, uh, uh, my granddaughter has had seven brain oh, surgeries since thing. July last year. Wow. And yesterday she had her final surgery for a number of years and the whole family is overjoyed. Well, she sounds like an absolute hero. She so, really yeah. does. Richard, Fantastic. who have you got that you would like to share some love for? It would have to be my butcher because he goes that extra length as well. <laughs> um, he's, uh, he's knocking me up at Beef Wellington. Morning, <laughs> Phil. I did one at James <laughs> Elliott in Islington. He's knocking me up at Beef Wellington uh, for Sunday. And I organised this about two weeks ago. First clue you're in lockdown is when you start organising Valentine's Day, a fortnight ahead of schedule. And I thought, well, I'm not going to make the Beef Wellington from scratch because that would be like cutting your hair for the first time on your wedding day. Um, <laughs> so, Phil, thank you very much indeed. And all the team, that actually, to be honest, all the gang in our local stores on the high street as well who've, who've kept open um, and serving the community, they've been brilliant. I don't know what I'd be without them. It's and majestic, of course. It? Yeah, and majestic, yeah. particularly. Uh, what yeah. about you, Alex? Uh, I have to say, my mum actually, um, she's been shielding all the way through the pandemic, uh, and she's had operations postponed. She's been in a lot of pain, but she's so resilient and she's so positive. It actually lifts me as well. So she's an inspiration. So, yeah, shout out to my mum and also all the shielders as well. We've had it really difficult over the really, last really year. Really, very difficult. Well, yeah. Ben, have you got anyone? Um, I think well, to, to, I think the credit in our with us lot has to go to the boys, to Sam and Jack. I just Aww. think they've been extraordinary. I think that, but and um, undoubtedly there'll be there will be people at home that have got kids that are having to homeschool and the resilience that they've both shown. Sam's doing his GCSEs, was supposed to be doing his GCSEs oh. this, this year. Uh, Jack has sort of adapted brilliantly. I, I just, I'm so, I've got so much admiration for how they've gone about it. Mm. They've kept their spirits up. They've, they've got on brilliantly. We've had a really good laugh. 
Sam's really embraced his own sort of health and fitness as well, which, Has as he? you can imagine, for me, is something I'm Love very that. proud of. Yeah. You know, he's taking himself off. He ran 150 kilometres in January. Yeah. Just to say, he just went off with one of his mates he goes running with, and he's so driven like that, and, and he even took his little brother out for a run yesterday. So they're doing that together. So, wow. So what I think it's, for me, it's the, it's the youngsters, it's the kids at home that are sort of having to battle through not I seeing know. their mates.